An admitted child molester under the supervision of the Archdiocese of Cincinnati has spent the last six years in a leadership position in a local Episcopal church. The Not On Your Side I team uncovered that during a three month investigation of the local Catholic Church. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham explains why critics believe the Catholic Church's culture of silence continues to put kids at risk. In 2014, the Vatican permanently banned Daniel Pater from active ministry. The Archdiocese of Cincinnati said Pater had admitted to sexually abusing a girl in the 1980s. Last month, the I-Team discovered Pater had been the director of music at St. Simon of Cyrene Episcopal Church in Lincoln Heights for nearly six years. Well, it is a big deal because it's a church and that's where he ended up getting his victims because it's very, it's easier to seduce and uh, to um, groom a victim in a church environment than it is probably anywhere else if you're a priest. The I-Team told St. Simon's pastor about Pater's history. The Episcopal Diocese said the pastor fired Pater the same day. Cincinnati Archbishop Dennis Schnur has refused the I-Team's request to explain how Pater, a confessed child molester, could assume a leadership position in a different church for nearly six years while under the supervision of the Archdiocese. The I-Team found some priests who had been permanently removed from the priesthood for allegations of sexual abuse are still not named as being credibly accused by the local church. Tonight at 11, the I-Team will name priests who have been publicly accused of sexual abuse. Craig Cheatham, not on your side.